Friday night book readings at the Abuja Literary Society are an opportunity for writers to promote Nigerian literature. The hope is readers will generate enough talk about their work online and on social media to get the attention of a publisher. But there are too few publishers in Nigeria to cater for the number of writers. Amara Nkolo is one of the lucky ones. She's had her book, Black Sparkle Romance, published by Cassava Republic Press. The major problem, I think, is getting the work out there. Because as a writer myself, I know how long it took me for me to be taken seriously. Um, there are really good writers in Nigeria. It's a different ball game when you write a book and then you're trying to get it to get, you want to get it published. Bibi Bakare, the founder of Cassava, decided one way to overcome the problems of printing, marketing, and distributing Nigerian works was to set up an office in London. We have to recognize that the UK is still the center of um, publishing globally. But, you know, it's, 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 it still has that currency. There's a, there's a milieu in the UK of publishing infrastructure that we could tap into and it will benefit all of us. The initial challenge of distribution, especially in Nigeria, meant that we had to think about alternative ways of distributing. The lack of reliable data on Nigerian literature has also created a problem for book promotion. According to UNESCO, the last record of how many books were published in Nigeria dates back to 1999, when it says around 1,300 books were printed. Publishers say without proper records, it's impossible to promote the industry to a reading population of over 80 million. But opinion is divided about how much demand exists for Nigerian literature. Emma Shercliffe is an African literature researcher working with Cassava. We went around talking to anybody I'd ever met in the publishing industry, asking them about the demand for, for African literature. Did people think this was a viable venture? Then you talk to, to some of the sales agents, like, well, how many copies of this book do you think you can actually sell? And actually, you know, they'll come back in the sort of hundreds. Publishers say one way to create that demand is taking Nigerian authors, like Amara, on tour across the world. But it's a huge challenge. African books only make up 2 to 3% of the world's publishing output. Ivandege Al Jazeera, Abuja, Nigeria.